YouTube, what's going on? This is your boy DB Kicks, and we are back with another video. And I'm rocking the same T-shirt as the last video because I'm doing back-to-back -back videos, man. I told you, your boy is an over draft, over draft, over no, over overdrive. Sorry, but if you're new to the channel, welcome to the DB Kicks channel. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit that notification bell so you know it when your boy is dropping some heat. And without further ado. Let's get into this pickup, man. All right, so we have the Fear of God Converse. You guys know I'm a big fan of the whole line. Actually ended up hitting on this pair, so I'm going to review it for you guys. But I cannot do the on feet because I couldn't remember how Converse's sizing was. So it was either a size 6 or a size 8. So I'll get more to that. So if you want to know about sizing, please watch this video. Stay tuned for the entire video, man, because your boy is going to spit knowledge and some facts, man. That's what I do. But let's get into the review. Hey, that rhyme. All right, you have an all cream colored box. On the top of the box, so you do have Essentials. And then on the flip side, you have Converse. And this is the Chuck High 70. Retail on this pair was $110, so very cheap. But that's still more than your standard Chuck Taylor for what you're getting. Oh, here is the Fear of God Chuck Taylor. All right, Converse, hi, Chuck Taylor. Man, I, I never thought I'd be reviewing a Chuck. <laughs> I haven't worn a Chuck in, God, it's, it's been a long time. All right, so starting off with the lateral side of the shoe, y'all. All right, you know what? We're not doing all that, <laughs> okay? Look, it's a, it's a Chuck Taylor. You guys have seen a Chuck, all right? And the colorway is pretty much like a cream gray kind of mix. It's, it's a very nice colorway. If I would have had my size, to be honest, I probably would have kept this pair, but um, I tried it on and it's just entirely too big. And you just have a nice canvas upper. The tongue is a leather material, so that's something different from your standard Tuck Taylor. And that's an all cream. The laces are cream as well. In Solo the Sneaker, you do have a Central Sphere of God here. So here yeah, I let you know this is this is Sphere of God, man. This is this is the fall game. On the heel of the sneaker, you do have a central sphere of God, so that is a very nice touch. Usually it will say Chuck Taylor All-Star in the back, I believe. All right, and you do have this cloth pull tab right here on the back. That way you are able to lace your sneakers through this loophole. Um, you guys will see a lot of the Fear of God style shoes, like the, uh, the Fear of God High and some of the, the designer shoes. They're styled like that. I know Jerry styles it like that, I believe. You know, it gives it a dope look. I like it. The outsole is a very glossy rubber material. And it's cream and black. It's very shiny. Like, I don't, I'm not sure why they do that. Very shiny. I, I would probably prefer it to just be a matte color, to be honest. Or, hey, it might even be pretty cool if they would have leather wrapped it. I think that would have been pretty sick, to be honest. And the outsole of the sneaker is all cream bottom. And you do have the Converse All-Star hit right there with the size tag on it. And nothing is different here. You still have the Converse All-Star logo here. So they could, I feel like it would have been cool if they would have changed that too. So overall, the Fair God Chuck Taylor, it, it's a nice it's a nice shoe. Um, I like the Skyline better and the Fair God 1. I'm a big fan of the Skyline. I feel like it's the most wearable. But if you guys have some Fair of God gear... Um, I definitely recommend this shoe. If you like Chuck Taylors, I, I really like this shoe. I think reselling this pair in my size is like a good 160 or so. So it's not, you know, it's not too crazy, man. It just depends on if you like it, if you're a fan of the shoe. So the quality on the shoe is good. It's a standard Chuck Taylor. The materials are slightly different as far as the fit. Okay, so this is a size 8, a women's 10. Like I said, I was kind of confused with Chuck Taylor sizes because it's been so long since I've worn them. So I definitely recommend. So this is a size eight. I wear a size eight. I need a seven. So go down a size. If you're an eight, get a seven. If you're a seven, get a six and so on. All right. Um, so that's why I just, I can't wear these. They're just way, way too big. So comment down below. Do you guys like Chuck Taylors, man? Because maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not the biggest Chuck guy because I had the off-white Chucks, the black and white. I sold them things quick. Now, I wish I would have waited, but I sold them quick because I was just like, yo, I just don't. That shit was ugly as hell. This one is not. That one was ugly. So, thank you guys for watching. Greatly appreciated, man. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Your boy is still pushing for that. 
and we are out of here.